myself. Basically, I just got out of the shower, put my hair up in a towel, and I'm just thinking I wanted to do like a really pretty glowy makeup look for you guys, and I wanted to show you from start to finish, and it's kind of going to be a get ready with me because I'm also going to blow dry my hair. I wanted this to be an everyday look. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the eyes, but I know what I'm going to do with the face. I just wanted something really glowy and natural and pretty. Okay, so please excuse these little breakouts up here. They're slowly going away. But the key to having very pretty skin and having gorgeous makeup is to make sure the skin underneath is nice and moisturized and make sure your skincare is on point because your makeup is not going to be on point if your skincare isn't. So I'm going to be using this Osea Sea Mineral Spray. And this is vegan, gluten-free, biodegradable, not tested on animals, and I love it so much, I'm almost out of it. So I'm gonna spray this all over my face. And once this dries, I'm going to apply my blemish balm, also by Osea. I noticed that my skin hasn't been as clear as it usually is lately, and I totally know it's because I haven't been drinking water. Literally, when I stop drinking a lot of water, my skin does not stay in good condition. So <laughs> I definitely know that I have to be hydrating. I drank a lot of water this morning. I drank like three big glasses, like this tall. So hopefully my skin will clear up if I continue doing that because I usually don't get these little breakouts like that. Now on to foundation. I'm taking my favorite foundation in the entire world. And I'm basically just going to dab it and really center it around the nose area in the center. I'm going to be using these oval brushes. Now these aren't the Artiste ones. Hell no, they're not the Artiste ones. Those are way too expensive. These are some off-brand ones. Well, actually, I don't know what brand they are, but if I find them, I will link them down below because they're amazing. I don't know how the Artiste brushes work, but these are really good. Literally, my foundation goes on so smooth and looks so natural. It just blends everything so seamlessly. Now on to the concealer. I'm basically not going to do like a bunch of contouring like I usually do because I want this to be easy for every day, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to be taking my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and this color is in medium sand. So I'm just going around the eyes. And then going on the nose a bit. I'm just going to be taking this smaller oval brush and just blending out. A little bit. I know I said I didn't want to do any crazy contouring, but I'm just going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and just get the tiniest bit on the applicator. And then take off the excess on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to go and just kind of do a little kind of sideways C right here. And I've been noticing that doing this has really given me a really natural contour. And I kind of take it up onto the temple a bit. So I'm going to take this other oval brush. You can use a beauty blender, which is what I usually use. And just kind of blend this guy out. To do a really, really thin line of contour around the nose. I just like to really contour my nose. I think that it makes it look more streamlined and neat. I'm going to just bring this guy out. Then I'm taking some of that concealer and just going right down the bridge of the nose just to clean it up. And then I'm taking this little brush, so just like that, just Blending these colors through. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX blotting powder and this one is in medium dark. And I'm going to be taking a dampened beauty blender and just packing that underneath. Just setting my concealer like this. I only set the concealer part like this because it really locks in the concealer. Since I'm done with my face basically I'm just going to let my Oops, 
just gonna let my hair down. So now it's time to set the contour and I'm just gonna be using this NYX Cheek Contour Palette. It has a highlighter and a bronzer. I'm just gonna go in and, and lightly kind of go over the area that I contoured. So next I'm gonna be taking this little brush. Also just use a little angled brush or whatever you like and I'm just gonna go lightly pat this down the sides of my nose just to set the contour. And then I'm just taking my powder brush and just going over that just to blend it out. I'm gonna go on and this is really gonna make the cheeks and everything just look so glowy and gorgeous. So I'm gonna be taking this Seraphine Botanicals Guava Butter and this is a natural cheek cream um, blush. So this one is vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. And I'm just gonna take some, warm it up on my finger like that and then just take it right through the cheeks. And this just gives the most beautiful glow to your skin. So I'm going to be taking this The Beauty Crop Lightning Crew Highlighting Cream. Now you can just use this. It's kind of like a pretty gold, like metallic. It's more like a, kind of like a bronzy undertone to it. So I'm just going to take ever so slightly onto my cheekbones. Ever so slightly. Because this stuff is super pigmented and we don't want to make it look muddy. And then I'm going to take the same brush that I applied my foundation with, so this Artiste looking oval brush, and just kind of blending that right in. So it should blend in quite nicely if you don't use too much. I'm going to take some right onto the cheek as well, right in there. Kind of smile and do it on the outermost point of the apple of the cheek. Then I love to take it up right here into the brow bone. Just looks so gorgeous right there. And I'm gonna take a little bit up above the brow. Just blend that in. And just a little bit onto the tip of the nose. I'm gonna go in the Cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin. Now if you want to take things a little further, you can go ahead and set that highlight with some powder highlight. And I would recommend this gorgeous color from this NYX palette. Or, I just can't resist using this because I have yet to use this in a tutorial. And I don't know if they make it anymore, so if you guys don't have it, I'm sorry. I'm not really sure if they're remaking it anymore. But I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette so this is Prosecco pop and this is champagne pop and then they have these gorgeous cheek colors here so I'm gonna be taking champagne pop because it's like my favorite highlighter ever just because why not you want to go a little glowier I'm just gonna take ever so slightly through the cheekbone and the apple a little bit onto that brow bone what I like to do is kind of do like a curvature here, like a little C. Just to make it all look kind of cohesive. And then I just like to add the little bit of excess right to the tip of the nose. And here, and then here a little bit. You can even touch some up here. So there we go. Glowy, glowy skin. Makes your skin look so healthy and dewy and vibrant. Now I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm going to be using my very much loved Bodyography Brow Palette. So now I'm going to be taking this Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel and just setting my brows with it. And brushing these hairs upwards. I always think I look so weird when my brows are done in my eye makeup visit. It just looks so heavy. I hate it. But we're going to apply eye makeup. You guys can do whatever you like with the eyeshadow. 
I just happen to really love this eye combo I'm gonna do in this reddish matte brown from this elf palette I'm just going to be just running that with this everyday minerals fluffy brush just right through the crease And then we're going to be taking our, well, my absolute favorite palette in the entire world, the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to be taking Liar, which is kind of like a very gorgeous, taupey, shimmer, well, it's like a satin finish. It's absolutely beautiful. If you guys want to see a dupe for this palette, I do have a video up on my channel. I will link it so you guys can check out a dupe for Liar just in case you guys don't want to get the Urban Decay palette. So I'm just applying Liar right onto the eyelid. And then on a smaller little pencil brush, I'm going to be taking the same matte reddish color. I'm just going to be taking this underneath the eyes. So I'm debating whether or not I want to put eyeliner I think I will, just because it will open up the eyes more and just give us a nice, beautiful shape. So, I'm going to be taking my NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner, and I just discovered this, and I'm absolutely in love. It goes on so smooth, so creamy, and it's a great high pigment. So, I'm going to apply this, and I'm just going to do kind of like an outer corner of cat eye, so it's not going to go all the way in, because that kind of closes out our eyes. I just want the eyes to look very big and bright. But before I go on to that, I'm just going to take the gorgeous highlighter from this NYX palette, and just pop that right in the inner corners. So, taking a Tarte brush. This brush is honestly a brush you can find at the art store for way cheaper. Why is my eyeliner not looking crisp right now? Bring it in. Fix the jagged edge and then fill this guy in. I don't know why every time I film my eyeliner it does not come out good. But when I'm not filming, it comes out absolutely perfect. So I'm just taking like my concealer brush here and just sharpening up that edge. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply tons of my Tarte Lights Camera Splashes mascara. Basically the Lights Camera Lashes but waterproof. So I don't know if I want to do falsies yet, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to go on to the lips, Now I'm going to be taking my favorite nude pencil at the moment. It is this NYX Suede Pencil in Can. I'm just going to line the entire lips with it. And I think I am going to apply some lashes. I'm going to be taking these Adore Lashes in Olivia. I've used them before. They're out of the package now, but they're basically just some kind of natural looking cat eye lashes. <laughs> so I'm going to put them on and I'll be right back. So, I guess that's the finished look. You guys like it? I think the eyes look really pretty and fluttery and gorgeous, so I'm, I'm actually really liking this. Don't know what I'm going to call this tutorial yet, so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I think I'm going to blow dry it and I might blow dry it in front of you guys. I'm gonna bring my blow dryer and let's get blow drying.
all there is to it. I love how glossy and just healthy looking my hair looks after it's been blow dried. Nice and full and sleek looking. It's still bouncy and just a lot of fun. So yeah, and here's another <laughs> here's another close up of the makeup now that it's done. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give me a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I love you all so very much and always remember that no matter how perfect your skin or your makeup or your hair may look, true beauty always comes from within. So I hope you guys never forget that. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.